Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the last video we have seen uh, the Azure portal overview where the tenant subscription resource group, how this looks like in the Azure portal and also some of the services that, that are provided by Azure in different categories. So in this video, we'll be creating a new resource group and also we'll be exploring like how we can give access to different users to that resource group and what are the different access roles available in Azure and all other stuff. So let's start with creating a resource group. So as discussed before, to create a resource group, we need a subscription. So if I go to the subscription, um, here I can find Azure subscription one, which is created for this account. So to create a resource group, I need to go to this subscription. So if I go inside the subscription, and there will be an option in the left side, if I just scroll down a little bit, uh, we can find resource groups. So if I go inside resource groups, we can create the resource group from this uh, button over here. So as you can see here, we already have a resource group created and we'll be creating another resource group, which is a new one uh, as part of this exercise. So you can create a resource group from here or you can just type resource group uh, in the search bar and then you can start creating a resource group from here itself. So I'm going to uh, try this option here. So if I click this create, it will take you to the uh, create resource group page. And as you can see here, we have to enter these details. We need to enter the subscription, resource group name and the region. So let me start with subscription. As you can see here, we have the subscription preloaded that we have. Currently we have only one subscription, which is Azure subscription one. So consider if we are having more than one subscription uh, for this account. Uh, then you might be seeing all these available subscription and you can select uh, any one of it uh, to create the uh, resource group. It's basically like in which subscription you are going to create a resource group. So once a subscription has been created, we need to give a meaningful name for the resource group. Uh, say for example, hyphen Mr. K Ashio Tutorials. Cool. So this RG stands for resource group. Uh, there are different naming conventions that each organization follows in terms of naming all the resources that, that they create on the Azure platform. We can use any kind of naming convention, but uh, this is one of the standard way of naming a resource group, which starts with RG. So I'm using that. And as you can see here, the next one is region. Uh, so as discussed before, uh, Azure provides um, data centers in multiple regions. So we can select any of the regions to create the resource group. So I'm going to select Australia East, which is pretty close to the location which I am based in. So all the subscription resource group region have been given. Now if I go to next, so this is something called tags, uh, which is mainly used to associate something, some definition to the resources that you create. Uh, so this will looks like uh, a key value pair. For example, if I just use created by Mr. K, uh, basically this gives some information about the resource, like what's the purpose of this resource, some kind of giving a definition to it. Uh, for example, a lot of organizations use something like this, ENV, uh, dev, or test or prod which gives them some understanding about like in which environment this resource has been created and stuff. So it's mainly used for uh, filtering uh, all the resources based on these tags, or we could also delete it uh, using these tags once all these resource group has been uh, used and we want to get rid of everything. So using these tags helps us to identify why these resources has been created and what is the main uh, definition of these resources. So I'm just going to use created by as part of this creating this resource group. And after giving the tags, I'm going to just go to next, which is review or create. And then as you can see here, the validation have passed and I'm going to create the resource group. So I have created a resource group, which is this RG Mr. K Azure tutorials. So if I go inside the resource group, so this is how the resource group looks like in the Azure portal. And as you can see here, uh, we are in the overview tab where you can see information like what is the subscription that this uh, resource group has been created. As you can see here, Azure subscription one, and we have the subscription ID, 
location and also the tags which we have created. So there are a lot of things which we could explore in the resource group. As you can see here, there are a lot of properties and monitoring and cost management stuff. Uh, the first thing which I'm going to explore as part of this demo is access control. So this is the most important thing, uh, uh, which is mainly used for configuring the access uh, to other users who needs access to this particular resource group. And uh, for example, if I go to access control and go to role assignments, so as you can see here, the access to that particular resource group has been given as default to who are the person who have created this resource group. As you can see here, Kishore Kumar, Mr. K talks take at gmail.com has the owner role to that particular resource group. And as you can see here, there's a scope. So this subscription of inherited, which means that this user has the owner permission to the subscription level. We all know that in one subscription, we can create any number of resource group and any number of resources. So if a particular person is having owner access to subscription, and he also has all the owner access to all the resource group that has been created in particular subscription. To give access to the other users, uh, so what we can do is there is an option called add over here. So if you click on add, and if you click on add role assignment, so we have these many built-in roles, uh, but we are going to just discuss about that most commonly used roles, which is the first top three, uh, the owner, contributor, and reader. So just to give a quick idea of what these uh, means is, the owner a role stands for grant full access to manage all resources, including the ability to assign roles in Azure or back, which means that the person who has the owner access will have an ability to do whatever the things uh, that he could do. Uh, for example, if a person is having owner access to Azure uh, resource group, then he could change all the settings inside the resource group and he could create a new resource, he could delete the resource, he can pretty much do everything inside the resource group. Plus, he can also give access to other users to the resource group. But the contributor access can do the first part of what owner could do, which is like he can do whatever the uh, thing that he can do in the resource group, like creating a resource, deleting a resource, changing any properties and stuff, but he doesn't have the permission to assign roles to different people. That's the only difference between owner and contributor. And the reader access is just, he can have the reader access to the resource group and he doesn't have access to change anything. He just has the access to read the resources that are in the resource group. So what I can do here is I'm having another account. Uh, if I go to the other account, which is tamil.mrktalkstack at gmail.com. As you can see here, if I go to subscription here, this account doesn't have any subscription over here. I haven't created any subscription for this particular account, but this particular account has been guested into the other account, which is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev Directory. So for example, if I go and click on the top right and click on switch directory, as you can see here, I have an option to change the directory to Mr. K Talks Tech Dev Directory. So if we click on switch, now I can see the subscription name, which is Azure Subscription One, which is created using this particular account, which is Mr. K Talks Tech. So if we click on this Azure subscription, as you can see here, Currently, I don't have any permission to the subscription level. I do not even have a reader access or anything. So this account, tamil.mrk, doesn't have uh, any access to this subscription. So if I go to resource group, as you can see here, I cannot find the resource group that we have recently created. For example, this one, resource group, Mr. K Azure tutorials. So I can just see this resource group, but I cannot see this resource group because I haven't given any permission to that particular users for this resource group. So for example, if I go to access control and if you click on add, add role assignment, and if you click on owner access, uh, let's give owner access and click next, there will be an option to select either a user group or service principal or managed identity. We'll be discussing group service principal managed identity in the future uh, videos. So right now we are giving access to the user so we have selected the user and 
to select the members we have to click here select members and we are going to give access to Mr. K Tamil account so if I click on that and select this and review and assign So now the Mr. K Tamil has access to this resource group which is RG, MRK, Azure Tutorials. So if I just jump back to Mr. K Tamil account, right now I cannot see the resource group that we have created. Uh, we have just given the access. So if I hit refresh over here, it's not loaded yet. Let's try it again. Refresh, refresh, maybe the full page refresh. Oh, still not reflecting. Okay. Another refresh. Another refresh. Still it's not coming up. Oh, yeah. So as you can see here, we now see the resource group that we have created. So if I click on that, now I have access to this resource group. So I can see all the information over here that can be seen from the other account, which is the Mr. Ktox tech. And I can see all the same information using Tamil.MrK account as well. So if I go to the access control and role assignments, I can see what are the roles assigned to this particular resource group. So one thing to note here is like this Mr. K Tamil account has access to this resource group. And if you just see the scope, so this the scope has only to this particular resource, which is this resource group. So this account has access only to the resource group, not to the subscription. So for example, I'm going to the subscription using Tamil.MrK account. So if I go to home, click on subscription, I'll still be not able to see any details uh, into the subscription level. As you can see here, I do not have any permission to see the billing data. Even if I go to the access control, role assignments, I can clearly see that I do not have permission to see any of the role assignments to the subscription level uh, since I do not have access to this subscription. So I can see the same settings uh, jumping back to the resource group and I can see all the access control settings, role assignment settings using the role because I have the owner access to this resource group. So this is really helpful and very powerful, right? Uh, by use of access control, you can restrict the users and give the right level of permission that uh, they cannot see everything and they can see only the things that are assigned to them, uh, which is really important in terms of uh, managing our organizations and other stuff. So what we have done now is like we have created a resource group and we have assigned permission to other account uh, using access control and we have explored um, owner access, contributor access, reader access, and we also tested out like if the access is working fine or not. So one of the most difficulties of adding this users one by one, giving access to any resources that we create. So for example, if your company is having more than 100 employees, and imagine if you have to do this stuff for each people, uh, each individual employees, and it is very difficult to manage, right? So even if a new employee comes in, we need to do the steps again. And also if a new, if an employee goes out of the company, then we have to do, remove the access and all the stuff, which is kind of very difficult, right? So in the next video, what we will be seeing is like how, how to tackle this problem by using the security group and how to add users to security group and stuff. Yeah, so that's it for today and hope you enjoyed the session. So thanks for listening. Uh, please like and share if you like the content. And let's see in another great video. Until then, cheers. Bye.